Sí, sí. Ok. Es interesting. Ah? No, no. Oh, one sec. It's just going on now. Ok. Ok, we are live. <laughs> ok, hi guys, uh, my name is Desi, welcome to Bridging the Realm. Uh, today I decided to do a random uh, catch up with one of, my, uh, one of my first guests on the show on Bridging the Realm, Jerome Headley. Uh, and um, I was just, we were just talking yesterday and we were kind of talking about the energies that have been going on this February and uh, there's been something really interesting going on. So um, I thought it would be a good idea to come on live and share some of the information that Jerome has, uh, some of the wisdom that he uh, ha has to share with us uh, because um, he's an energy worker. If you guys uh, saw my video with him, my original uh, first interview with him, just tell you a little bit more about Jerome. He is uh, an energy worker from uh, Barbados. He's also a clairvoyant who incorporates bioenergetic techniques to heal and empower people in reconnecting them with their divine soul blueprint. Uh, and uh, after he's been working in the field for eight years and he now focuses on teaching unity within the self, uh, crystalline living and anchoring the perfected, the perfect, perfected self here on earth. So um, if you haven't seen my interview with him from uh, last year around September, uh, definitely do uh, catch that. It's really, really interesting. And we cover so many things from energy work to uh eating to uh parasites how uh, energetic parasites <laughs> so yeah. we went all across the board uh basically <laughs> but um obviously this year 2020 has been quite um strong and uh different from 2019 well it, 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 if anything it's like a leveling up from 2019 and it's been really interesting to see how people are taking in some of those new energies and frequencies that are coming in um there's been a lot of ups and downs. So uh, I'd really like to hear Jerome's side of it because he tunes into the energy a lot. He's very uh, good at uh, determining kind of what's going on energetically in the, in the world um, with us uh, and how this is affecting people emotionally, mentally, physically. Um, so I'd really like to get his view on everything. So Jerome, welcome. Hey, yeah. <laughs> I was I was thinking about the um the last interview we had right, right? um about my my hair. <laughs> yes, you changed your hair. You right. had the uh, you had long hair before, and now it's all gone. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. So um, this is the yeah, twenty twenty look. Hmm? This is your twenty twenty look. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It went through a um a transition period um after my birthday, where where which was in September which I, I actually realized were, was aligning with, with certain energetic changes as well uh, in terms of the, the sun cycles and activating like the inner Christ or crystal within, right? So I, from, from my intuition, my higher self, I, I decided to go through like a, another letting go process or testing what, you know, the threshold was in terms of me letting go of certain things. And the hair obviously was another another thing that I realized I was holding on to because I was deciding to cut my hair for a while. Mm. <laughs> right. But I I, ha I still hadn't cut my hair at that time. So I decided to cut cut the hair. Um I I I also was intuitively guided to um because you know they, they sit out here stores a lot of memory and information and stuff so i actually found a way to actually store <laughs> the information the information i wanted on a crystal right on, on <clears throat> um, a crystal okay so you stored yeah, the information yeah. from your hair onto mm, a right i mean okay, it's, okay you have to tell me how you did that <laughs> so the, way how the, the energy works again is is basically limited um we're only limited by our imagination in terms of the application of energy, right? Um, since our mind <laughs> creates the reality in, it, in itself, right? So if, if you um, actually apply certain, certain imaginative applications or components, you could actually store <laughs> stuff 
you know, certain information or, or light energy into a crystal because crystals hold information, right? So yeah, that, that's what it did. And they essentially kind of like placed uh, <clears throat> like a grid around me. Mm. And I, I basically like saged and, and cleansed like um, like the, the scissors and stuff. And and just start start cutting. And what what was interesting was I was expecting for the the change in that energy to feel as if I lost something, but it felt like I gained something. Yeah, because I actually started to feel like the energy go into my my body. Wow. Yeah, yeah. So I, I felt lighter, stronger. Um, <laughs> yeah, it was very very interesting. Um, and then that came through the whole process of, of me transitioning into uh, a different um, aspect of self mm. during that time. So, yeah. And then going into now, the beginning of 2020, then was another another set of, um, <clears throat> I did like uh, like different cleanses and stuff as well. So... Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's potent. So maybe so anyone who's been going through a change of their look around that time, it's probably yeah. because they were picking up on these energies of yeah, um, certain frequencies um, would have been coming into kind of like insight, a lot of uh, renewal, hmm. a lot of change. Wow. Yeah. Wow. That's crazy. Yeah. September. Yeah. September, October time definitely felt like something was shifting and changing. So that yeah. makes sense to me. Yeah. It's almost like, um, well, yeah, this, um, from everything I've been reading in terms of the astrology and stuff, this this year has definitely felt like from the very beginning, from the very get-go, it feels mm -hmm. like it's about redefining who we are and, you know, trying to see ourselves from a different perspective and letting go of all the old um, sort of ways that we've seen each other and kind of letting mm -hmm. go of these old stories and the the shell that we've kind of, the masks that we've kept on. Right. Um, <laughs> all this time, Yeah. Yeah, because um, I, I even joke and tell people, yo, like this year, this year feels as if like, like January, when we were in January, it felt as if we were in June mm. or like summertime. Well, you know, the, in terms of like how, how many things were actually occurring globally. Yeah, from the very yeah. beginning. Yeah. How much, you know, even within ourselves, because that's where it starts first. It starts within ourselves and and then we see these changes going on um, as reflections. So, yeah, it's a, a very, very interesting time to, to actually be experiencing a lot of this, um, especially, again, the internal self mm. like actually tapping in. So this time now is 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 basically for us to, to begin to tap deeper into ourselves. Uh, as you will see, like, there are a lot of, I guess distractions or many different things trying to have us pay attention. So if you think about it, like you're you're paying you're paying energy to yeah. <laughs> to certain things, right? And that that's what you know. It's kind of insight or you know bringing that whole the whole thing with energy and and how when you you put your focus on certain things, you actually give your energy away to that, mm. right? instead of bringing that energy, paying attention to yourself, mm. right? And bringing that energy inward. Yeah. Right? So, so yeah. So this is what we should be doing, bringing the energy inward and kind of. So th this time now is, yeah, like we, we have a, a great opportunity to actually uh, expand our ourselves and tune into our inner, our inner, um, what some would call the inner crystals. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah crystal so 2020 clear vision crystal clear vision mm. christ yeah yeah i definitely feel this energy of uh trying to get really clear on who i am and why i'm here there's this um this, i feel like there's, there's been a big confusion as to um you know people trying to redefine themselves and who they are um and I feel like a lot of people still feel very unclear. Like it's almost like we're in that space, the in-between space. You, you know what you need to let go of, but you don't quite see the vision yet of who you yeah. are, of who right. that new you is. So it's kind of like you're in the between space. Like a limbo. Trying, yeah, exactly. Like trying to find <laughs> fourth dimension. <laughs> yeah, and it feels really weird because, especially for me, because um, 
I guess it comes from my Aquarian side. Uh, and I realized for Aquarians, you know, we always need to have vision. We always need to have some sort of vision to work towards, right? Um, yeah. If I don't have that vision, it's like I'm just lost because I don't have anything to work towards. I don't have yeah. like that image or that vision to um, look forward to. So I've been finding it really hard in the last kind of two, three months, not having that vision and just not really knowing what I'm working for, what I'm doing everything for, not really being clear about where it's all going, you know? So mm -hmm. it's definitely been a challenge. Yeah, to no. <laughs> yeah, nah, like, um, <laughs> yeah it's, it's been a challenge, uh, especially <clears throat> so like this energy now that's coming in. Uh, yo, I, and they, uh, like I was telling you earlier, like I, I started taking, uh, I started, well, I started experimenting with different herbs, uh, like rose petal and rose hip uh, for opening the heart chakra. Yeah. And I, I started to notice a, a very interesting change in terms of my pers perspective on, on myself, but also <clears throat> I have noticed that the energy <laughs> around the same time the energy started to pick up. So there was I, I started to feel um, a lot of deeper feelings within myself, and it seemed to as well be like a collective thing because a lot of people have been feeling like uh, I guess certain depressions or certain waves of like a <clears throat> a downturn be hitting. Some people that I have noticed or observed where they like, feel like perp like they're like you don't really have a purpose. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. And yeah, and it it, it kind of like I was surprised when it when it actually had had <laughs> had had reached my end because I I don't feel I don't really feel because you know I, I do my cleansing and stuff and um. Yeah, and I, I started, it actually allowed me to actually have an appreciation for like, even like the simple things in life, like you, you could watch like the birds and like they, mm -hmm. they, don't, they, don't, <laughs> they don't have a worry, right? Yeah. Um, and and actually kind of like be, learn to be like, I guess, but it helped me to be more, to, to like tap into the, the earthy or the grounded nature of stuff and go deep within myself and actually <clears throat> assess like what and where these feelings came from and i actually uh i yeah at that time i think i did a, a i did my own inner child healing or or certain aspects of it because you know it's always layers of, of work that we yeah even as healers we need to do as well so mm. um yeah, I, I've been tapping in a lot, a lot to um, in terms of my own inner space for the last year on and especially all of that, everything. Uh, so I noticed, yes, for this year, this time period that we're in, we are asked to tune in to our inner work, a lot of the work that um, we have been, you know, being asked to, or guided to do. So that's why I kind of took a year, essentially a year off of like kind of doing a lot of my um, my sessions and stuff like that to actually work on myself, focus on me for a bit. So I would have the time to actually assist others now. Yeah. Right? Yeah, it's uh, like you need to take that time off so that um, people, so that you can work, you can work on impro improving yourself and, and just, um, you know being more authentic to yourself isn't it all right yeah yeah. Yeah. yeah 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 which is very important being being centered grounded uh balance mm. and yeah just being you and allowing yourself to shine yeah definitely mm. wow that sounds like it was a quite a potent year than 2019 yeah. <laughs> for you yeah <laughs> yeah so how, how, how about you like um it's it's been a yeah yeah well, it's been yeah i've been i've been kind of going through uh pretty much really similar stuff i've been doing a lot of inner child work things have mm. been coming up that i 
I kind of thought I dealt with, but they've been coming up again. So I'm like, oh man, like I thought I dealt with that already, <laughs> you know? So it's kind of like going in, going in, going in. Like, why is it coming up again? So it's this whole, um, yeah, but it's been like a huge, huge, um, yeah, I've definitely in the last few months, I've realized a lot of things in myself that I wasn't able to see before, uh, you know? Um, it's just, I guess, I've just gained a different perspective on things and have been able to see see it from an outside perspective uh, mm -hmm. and just really, um, really understand why I function the way that I do and why I do certain things in a certain way. I've been mm -hmm. um, looking, uh, there's one teacher that I really love, uh, whose work I really, really love and find really interest, really potent for um, sort of shadow work. And her name is Teal Swan. Uh, yeah. And she's really, she does, um, she does a lot of things to do with the shadow, looking at your shadow and uh, inner child work. And uh, she has something called uh, the completion process, which is like a process that she takes you through. It's like a for different steps. And mm. um, it basically allows you to go to take anything that's going on right now to on currently in your life. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like this, um, <clears throat> it's this idea of basically what is triggering you right now in your current situation um, is really the pain from it is coming from something else. It's coming mm -hmm. from the past. So, so, it, so it would be like a like a um, like a portal. Uh, uh, kind of like kind of like portals. Um. Yeah, so it's sort of like it takes you back to an old wound or an old negative emotion that is basically is what caused this pain in the first place, and mm -hmm. now is being repeated over and over again in your current life in your present life in order for you to kind of go back and heal that so mm -hmm. because um, the, the, pa the past and the um like the, the past and the future actually they collapse and coincide into the present so a lot of the um yeah they, most most things that things that we actually that actually manifest in, in our physical reality actually have a, a um origin point so remember i was saying recently oh hold on you you could hear this this fine can you hear this fine it's making some noise yeah, I, I hope I it's not so, yeah. is it loud i uh let me, no, let me... not really. <laughs> huh? no it's i can hear it in the background but it's not very loud okay yeah we got like we have crickets and you know all kind of different tropical insects oh yeah some noise now <laughs> but, <laughs> um okay. No, you can't hear it. But like, like I was saying, um, I started to kind, of, I started to notice that, yeah, like there's a, because you would hear her, hermetics or any of these other teachings, like as above, so below, as within, so if mm. and I, I, I started to 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 notice like more of the correspondence, the physical correspondence to a lot of the the um the spiritual stuff, so things that I would be able to scan in, in, in people and, and actually see with my, my third eye, I would also be able to, or my higher self actually start to show me like certain correspondence uh, within the physical mm. reality, right? Uh, for example, one of the major ones that I actually started to, to, to make a connection with is, is are the, uh, the parasites, are the microbials within the body, right? Uh, my, my microbes. microbes yeah microbes yeah so uh that would be the um like you know i think strep streptococcus and um lactose lactobacillus and well, what people will call it probiotics <clears throat> as well as as other organisms like um you know like a tapeworm stuff like that mm. right and i would Notice that there was a connection between those and uh, thought form, or they would have uh, <laughs> they they would have a, a, a spiritual or a, an astral correspondence to them. Mm, okay, so you, okay, right. so you're talking about the physical um, parasites. Mm -hmm. They would have uh, an astral aspect to them. Mm -hmm. So Maybe. so is is a, a layer basically, mm -hmm. right? So. Um, so even in that, then is is a uh, like evidence of a correspondence. Well, for me at least, a correspondence with the the physical and the spiritual, 
Mm -hmm. uh, even in certain other things too. Uh, some some teachings actually talk about like lucid dreaming while awake, right? You being able to take cues from your reality in every moment. Mm -hmm. For example, you can ask a question within your consciousness and you can randomly at times turn on the radio or turn on the TV and you would get the message. The message would be answered for you within the yeah. radio. Or if in, same thing with the cards, yeah. right? Using tarot cards, right? You ask a question or you ask a question for someone else and you actually get a reflection or a, a reflected answer based on the question from mm -hmm. the cards or through the cards. Yeah. It's like the universe's way of speaking to you. <laughs> right. So it speaks to us in every moment. Um, if we so have the eyes and the, the senses to actually recognize that that's what it is and not just random things going on in the reality yeah yeah so totally. i kind of started like training myself to to um see these correspondence instead of just like relying on like my spiritual senses to, to mm. ask. <clears throat> yeah uh so that you always you always basically you know able to see certain things uh despite maybe like so for example like you you may i i notice at times like the energy because of the energy fluxes mm. like sometimes your your like spiritual senses might <laughs> I, I call it going offline or going into calibration mode so it's like you you're you're like a windows you have like software and yeah. then the software is being updated you can't use the computer for a little while <laughs> It's the same yeah, with your yeah. body you can't use yeah. your body properly <laughs> right <laughs> yeah so and then it also for me a notice helped me to actually show or teach guide others um into actually being able to like empower themselves in seeing certain things observing certain things because not everyone is gonna have um <clears throat> like clairvoyance or clear sentience all at one time or yeah uh, you know, even I noticed, like, for example, like, um, a lot of the, the, the key, the key, one of the major keys I notice is your ability to actually use your imagination. Yeah. To actually, yeah, right. So actually, yeah, be creative in your imagination, for example, like, um, there are some people who are able to actually visualize and imagine certain worlds, right, just create a world and they have the ability and where they can actually <clears throat> create certain characters in that world mm -hmm. and they can come back to the world and just visit the world and these characters would have already done like build a house or do do all kinds of different things right oh, in wow. their consciousness yeah uh i think but you mean you, they're doing that astrally they're doing that with their imagination yeah like within their consciousness um <laughs> i think who it was i don't want to I think it's Napoleon Hill. Um, in one of his books, I think is Napoleon Hill. Um, let me see. But he called he called this technique the um, the counselors or the twelve counselors or something, um, where where you would actually be able to where he said and documented for himself that he he created these twelve counselors within his mind. All of them all of them had various personalities mm. or various tasks that he assigned to them mm. and he noticed after a couple of days of actually interacting with them and having these board meetings they a few of them actually developed their own personalities or they they start some of them showed up late for the meetings huh? wow. um yeah, some of them actually provided information to him that he wasn't privy of himself, right? Mm -hmm. And so, <clears throat> through my whole research on on um, on the imagination and, and like creative visualizations, I I noticed that our our higher self or our higher mind, um, it actually communicates well. Yeah, we, we are able to communicate with our higher mind through the imagination. And also, I have noticed that um, it actually allows us to tap into, I guess, what scientists would call the quantum field. Yeah. Right? Yeah, so, totally. 
Yeah, I think, yeah, definitely the imagination is so important and so many people, uh, I mean, we've been brought up to think that the imagination isn't real and it's not, you know, it's not true, whatever you're imagining it, yeah. whatever you're imagining isn't real, but actually that's the way to connect to the other world. Because so. if you because if you check, like, what imagine imagination is, like, <clears throat> even if you break up the words, I, imagination, right? Mm. Or I, basically my magic kingdom magic uh, nation right nation. my magic kingdom oh, yeah. Mm. yeah right okay. um and even even in the i think is the yeah even in the is the bible that's it that mentions i think that that that's what they call the 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 how the i think is the house of many mansions or something yeah yeah the house of, yeah but um Wow, that's yeah, definitely like the imagination. I've been definitely trying to work on my own sort of intuition and stuff, and mm -hmm. you know, using my imagination to kind of um, create the visions and what I want, what I want to draw into my life. You know, the whole like law of attraction thing. I still find it kind of hard because I feel like my logical mind is always kind of gets in the right. way. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, um, that's that's a real <laughs> the logical mind. Um. It's like it always jeopardizes mm -hmm. everything. <laughs> For example, like um, I, I notice that if if you actually try, there's so many different ways to actually tune into these senses, and I I believe that is is it's unique for everybody, right? It's unique as as unique as your fingerprint is is unique. To, to tap into to spirit like yeah. i don't think that like everyone's technique is gonna be like for everybody i don't yeah. think that, you have to adapt right? your own yeah mm -hmm. um and that's why the, the best teacher at times the best guide is our higher self like hands down all the time mm. all the time yeah right? yeah definitely and yeah i've I, kind of come to that conclusion recently as well i feel because uh last year i spent uh, I was I was uh, always watching a lot of um, uh, ho like horoscope uh, tarot readings, you know, tarot mm -hmm. readings for like what's coming up for the next month, what's coming up for the week, and things like that. And um, and while they're really helpful, uh, mm -hmm. I just felt like at one point I was just so reliant on these readings, on these tarot readings by people, um, that I completely mm -hmm. just started to dismiss my own intuition. And then. Mm -hmm there came a point where I was kind of like, no, I need to go back to listening to my intuition first and then looking at everything else outside of me. Right, Cause I right. felt like I was going down a dangerous, you know, path where I'm just giving all my power away to these people right. who are giving readings, which are for the collective or, you know, right. they could be for your star sign. But again, that's right. like millions of people. So. Cause, yeah. cause it, I mean, it is a stage is, and with everything it is a stage. So like some people, um, yeah, the, until you get to the point where you actually realize that you are capable of doing this thing on your own. Mm. Um, sometimes it is it is good to, uh, yeah, to like even with like like language for example. Like I used to watch people um, speak like language, and like it was so interesting to observe it and explain and, uh, light language for anyone who might well, not know what it okay, is. Okay, so. How do I explain that? <laughs> okay, so, all right. So, like, language is essentially, like, it's, like, sound, basically, like, pure sound of, of like, a, a higher frequency light, right, mm -hmm. form of light. So, at times, the, like, language would come out, like, scribbles. Um, <laughs> let me see if I got any examples here. I but essentially light language is is energetic based right right so it, so it almost looks like like um sanskrit or like fire language mm. uh and <clears throat> energetically and auto like as an audio it would sound <clears throat> like what people would call like speaking in tongues mm. or it would just sound like gibberish <laughs> um at times it would be like for example ifat waniku tuatimu right like like a kind of you know a, a language that we can't really like on this like understand or or like yeah. our logical mind doesn't really like compute it but yeah. our spirit our soul actually 
actually uh understands feeds into it yeah so i, I started to listen to like language what was that, that you just said was that light mm -hmm. language yeah yeah <gasps> what did that mean <laughs> <laughs> um what i usually do is i actually visualize so i would visualize something that i want to speak or my higher consciousness wants to transmit and it would i would send it through my heart and allow it to come through my my throat chakra basically wow yeah great That's and awesome. so i i i'm trying to remember when i actually like learned how to do it i think it was one of those nights of me staying up at like three o'clock in the morning I used to stay up at three o'clock in the morning and that's when spirit would come and like just you know teach me stuff like wow <laughs> yeah. yeah so three o'clock um, seems to be the time where things just go a bit haywire isn't it and there's like energy yeah. coming in yeah so for example like if i um so this will be the first time i'm actually doing i think one of the first times i actually speak I'm speaking like language publicly. <laughs> yeah. Right? Wow. That's yeah. big. Um for example, like certain downloads can actually come through. Let me see. Valui, Tayemu, Kwati, Jat Mukwati, Jumukui, Mukwata. So so um that was like a uh, heart expansion kind of activation. Uh, <clears throat> oh wow! Oh, it's strange you said that because I I did feel something in my heart. I was like, yeah, <laughs> wow. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm telling you, it's it's kind of wild. Um, <laughs> I so like even even in that, I can do like a a few activations like that. Mm. Um, don't ask me why I haven't been doing that. Yeah, <laughs> why haven't you been doing that? <laughs> um, I don't know. Like, I, I mean, at first, I guess it was it was more of like the expression. So I would feel shy about even speaking like language. Uh, the, 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 I guess being before, not now, right? Now is different. I could speak like language all day, yeah. right? Um, but I have, I have been on and on practicing it on and off practicing it uh so i'm starting to kind of like tune back into that now uh since doing my my detox my cleanse mm. uh, i kind of <clears throat> placed all of my senses my spiritual senses on like a pause mm. for a little bit to kind of like tune into my body yeah. feel the, the, how the herbs are actually um working with me physically so i would be able to also maybe have an idea of how it would be affecting mm -hmm. other people yeah <clears throat> mm -hmm. um so now i'm actually starting to like you know turn back on all the all the knobs all That's the you know <laughs> all the switches on the on the ship yeah <laughs> so wow. yeah but that's but, that's good i think it's important to uh tune back into the physical body and i definitely mm -hmm. have been um I've definitely been trying to do that a lot more, especially in the last few months, because last year I realized I really didn't take care of my health like at yeah. all, because most yeah. of the work I was doing was from home and I was in front of my laptop like most of the time. So I realized that my body was actually really, really suffering. And Great. Um, Great. But that's the best time to actually take care of your body too, right? Because <laughs> you're not at work. <laughs> well in, yeah uh, yeah exactly but so, so you're more in like a control and i mean i guess i don't know i kind of i kind of just neglected it because i was so focused on the mental stuff and the work yeah. side of everything so yeah, that I was me, that, um yeah it's i was I more into like the energetics and um more of the the, the like mind and <clears throat> i actually kind of actually neglected a lot of my physical body and that's another one of the major things too like I, I noticed that you got to like keep the balance of the mind body. Yeah. For mm. real. Like yeah. if not one thing would fall, you know, fall short and create a whole heap of problems at times too. Definitely. Oh. Yeah. And we are still here in the 3D. So it, it's very important to actually, you know, take care mm. of the body and do something physical. And that's why, tell me about how you feel about this year though, because um, this year I've been, I don't know, I've kind of been going through this thing of um, I've realized I've 
I've put myself a little bit too much into that spiritual bubble or like the right. spiritual world. And right. now this year I've been feeling really cold to do more things that are kind of physically based or like, and, and uh, do things that are more uh, connecting with people like in the real world you know like right. doing things that are like activities or social things and just reconnecting more with the with the body reconnecting more with physical life with doing physical things um rather than just the spiritual because I, I don't know I have this um I have this um just feeling in myself and also from what I've seen from other people who are in the spiritual stuff mm -hmm. that a lot of people have gone too much on that side and too much they've separated too much themselves from the physical reality and they're kind of just like in their own spiritual bubble but right. then they've forgotten to kind of integrate that knowledge into the physical do you mm -hmm. see that as well have you noticed any any trends yeah. like that yeah. yeah even even um within myself and that that's why i was guided to actually take the year off to actually more you know ground in and 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 mm. see things on a more physical level yeah. the physical perspective um because again we we how i see it is like we're we're being asked now to actually ground and walk these physical at least again for, I, I would say if, through what i am experiencing walk our physical aspects this avatar into the higher realms mm. so i would notice like um, and that, that's actually one of the reasons why, like, I noticed, like, I was neglecting my physical body because I was more into, like, the mind and the energy and boom, yeah. boom. Um, I then learned that, like, it, it's like when you're, when, when you start to, I guess, your frequency starts to go, go past, like, maybe your physical body frequency, it would almost seem like like if your spiritual energy is now detaching from your physical body mm. so your body goes through like a, your body decides yo it, it, you know it's time you transition you you, you look you know you look like you're gonna die <laughs> so, <Yeah. laughs> so your body just goes through like this i guess uh what they call it apoptosis or cell death <laughs> yeah yeah your body can't keep up anymore right so like my body was actually starting to like break down you know at, at my young age like i was actually like getting like um uh, early set arthritis and it was like a lot of, like you would hear about like how oh, the whole thing with how inf inf inflammation actually mm -hmm. causes a lot of diseases right because yeah. mm. uh, it, it restricts a lot of the energy from flowing through the body mm. <clears throat> and because of what i was eating it should be i mean i wasn't eating anything too crazy like um any like heavy meats and stuff but i guess like more of like the, the gluten and um a lot of that stuff i actually had a histamine intolerance because of maybe like uh what i'm realizing now it seemed to be like a lack of um maybe copper and and like zinc and and but potassium especially right you're missing certain minerals then your body isn't able to break down certain things and mm. isn't able to do certain <clears throat> conduct certain processes and things and um i i started to do a lot of research into the nutrition aspect of things last year so i started to and that's where, I, where I'm saying about the physical like i started to actually put more focus on the physical reality on the learning the herbs um especially because like i would see and uh, you know in the caribbean we, we got a lot of herbs so like yeah. a lot of plants and <laughs> stuff herbs, <laughs> so when i so i was um <clears throat> one morning i was walking and i was saying yo like life life is abundant like you would see like their fruits on the tree and a bird would go and pick or eat at one of these fruits and this fruit is bigger than the bird mm. could you imagine eating a fruit that's bigger than you <laughs> right yeah. and and then I, I started to tune into that and wanted to actually know like you know if i if i knew about the herbs i would be able to see the abundance in life in itself in nature 
right? So I decided to, to go on the quest to learn the different herbs. And I started to align with, with others who, who actually knew about the herbs, right? And the herbal medicine. Mm. And yeah, I started to learn a lot of the different herbs. Um, and then I started to also learn about how to actually like activate your, your psychic senses and your your crystalline structure in your physical body mm. by actually doing things like detoxing and replenishing the physical body's nutrients. Yeah, yeah. Right. It's basically like your body is like a ship or a, it's essentially a car. Yeah. Right. That's what they call it in car nation or you're in oh, yeah. a fleshly <laughs> world. <laughs> right. You're you're in car nation. <laughs> Right. And um, yeah, that's my cat. Oh, <laughs> you have and, a cat. Um, <laughs> oh, can we see it? <laughs> Watches come. <laughs> yeah, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so cute. <laughs> oh, I want a cat. That's so cute. Is it a boy or a girl? It's a girl. No. Yeah, she's up. Oh, she's all wet and stuff because outside the rain was falling. Aww, so yeah. So but um. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's nice so, to have animals as well. I've been I've been really drawn to having like being around animals as well for the last kind of few months. I'm kind of like, oh, I should really. I mean, I can't get. Uh, I can't have a pet here where I live because they don't allow us to. But I've just been going through the stage where I'm kind of like, I should probably go and work for some shelter, like animal shelter or something. Mm -hmm. I just feel like this. I have this feeling to be around nature and animals a lot, especially mm -hmm. in the last few months. So I think I'm guessing that's probably just us trying to get back in touch with nature mm -hmm. and the rhythms and everything natural. Yeah, and it helps to grow. Um, yeah, it's, 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 this, this year is about balance, about the both the physical and the, and the spiritual aspects. Um, so in it, the, the whole, I guess, yeah, what I, what I, after actually learning a, a good bit of the herbs and doing a lot, I did a lot of research on that stuff. Um, and the, the, yeah, I, I noticed like the, one of the brute, one of the brute force ways of actually freeing yourself from certain energies mm -hmm. is to, I would say, like, I would tell people, yeah, right away, like, do a colon cleanse. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, is, you know, um, do a parasite cleanse. Like, yeah. black walnut, wormwood, clove. Um, and yeah, if the gut if the gut is um well they call the gut the second brain isn't it so if your right. gut is um not in a good shape then it's going to just affect your whole body your system your brain yeah. everything mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. so like the, the gut actually um let me see the root solar plexus emotional body and then the yeah the the solar plexus the gut in that area the mind the gut has a lot of um, different nerve, nerve endings. Um, it also sends information to the brain. Mm. Uh, it actually produces a lot of the neurotransmitters. I think uh, serotonin, actually like 80% or so is produced in the gut, the immune system as well. Uh, so <clears throat> when you think about that, like that's that's your 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 so i actually again made the, the physical connection the immune system actually is the astral shielding or your your protection oh, yeah. <laughs> right um so for example like one of the best ways to actually take control of your life is to actually start eating better or like actually taking control of what you're putting in your mouth what you're bringing into your eyes your nose mm. your, your ears Right. These are your customs, your custom port, you know. Yeah. So these are your portals. Portals, <laughs> and, yeah. And so and and Everybody. these guard the gates to your inner world. Mm. Right? Wow, that's Don't a good put way. Put on our that. skin. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So 
could be very healthy. Yeah, I think a lot of people are starting to definitely pay attention to what they're putting in their body, what they're putting on their body, what they're kind of around, you know, the whole thing with like 5G and the EMF frequencies. And yeah, that's definitely yeah. been a concern. Yeah. So mm. is a... Uh... Um, so, and then what, what that would do then is assist your, your spiritual essence or your spiritual energy, mm-hmm. right? Your higher consciousness, your higher self to actually embody more into the physical body. Cause that's what we're actually here to actually accomplish. Yeah. Right. Well, yeah. again, my perspective of it, but to, to actually anchor in a lot of those higher frequencies, um, <clears throat> express more of our soul essence through our physical body, through this avatar. Mm, Some yeah. teachers they call it the 12D avatar 12 or Christos D. avatar, 12 right? Avatar. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, no, that's definitely uh, a good way, a good note to end on as well. I think definitely this yeah. year we have to anchor all that spiritual stuff, all that spiritual knowledge back into the physical world. And the main way to do that is to just have a healthy body, have a routine, uh, mm-hmm. have like a strict structure foundation you know this year is about foundation as well so have this strong foundation that we can anchor into this physical reality because if you don't have this foundation then you just whatever spiritual knowledge you have is just not going to do you any good <laughs> mm-hmm. you need yeah. Foundation, yeah the grounding yeah mm-hmm. yeah wow thank you so much jerome is mm-hmm. there anything else you want to say to people um any other last words that you um, want to pass on with some wisdom again i would say to um despite all of the changes that are happening now and that are going to happen in the near future i would um advise yeah like this is a time to actually uh begin to to like the pro- beginning process or you know beginning process if you haven't begun already to tune in to yourself uh begin to look and address the deeper things within self <clears throat> and that would allow you to actually then um get no i wouldn't say get past but you would be able to surf the waves that are coming in so it wouldn't be as intense it wouldn't be as emotional um, as it would be maybe for the collective um, on a whole. And with us actually putting in our own work, we would be uh, in a better position to actually then assist others who may be in our vicinity as well, who may need the the assistance, the added assistance. Yeah. <clears throat> right? Yeah. 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 definitely i totally agree with that that's that's uh potent yeah that's really important to remember i think um yeah just doing your inner work as much as you can so that you don't get caught up in all the um drama that's going on in the world um yeah i definitely agree with that yeah that's kind of was what i've been seeing i've been doing a lot of um uh, one thing that's kind of caught my eye recently something called parts work uh what's it called parts work parts so working on different parts of yourself the different uh, fragments no um, it's first time yeah it's uh again it's by the the spiritual um lady i told you about teal swan uh the, there are other people who do it but um her way of doing it is really interesting and she basically says uh talks about this concept of how we all have uh multiple personalities within us you know it's not just something that a few people in the world are like diagnosed with actually everyone has multiple personalities within them because we all have have these different parts within us so that that, um, lady multi-dimensional selves or aspects essentially uh, like different aspects of us so the so you know you have uh like the your the child self the the self that is feels shame the the self that feels anger but hasn't been able to express it you know so it's like things that we've basically suppressed within ourselves but they in, in we've suppressed it but then that energy you know where does it go it, it basically it, it separates from you mm-hmm. so when you suppress something you separate it from yourself you're distancing yourself from that part part of yourself mm-hmm. because you're trying to uh um 
ignore it you know and you're trying to it's like so you're pushing that part of yourself that's, away. That, that's how it plays out into the physical body as like a disease or like yeah a, mm-hmm. yeah exactly yeah yeah so it's just things that we've basically disowned within ourselves but um uh, so basically the way she explains it is every time we disown something in ourselves or or we distance ourselves away from that part of us we're essentially separating a part of ourselves from ourselves but you know that part is still in there so and obviously throughout your life this part will get triggered so there's there'll be something in your life that will trigger that part of you to come out because it needs to be acknowledged and mm. until we acknowledge that part of it and allow it to speak, just like you would with a regular person, then it's always going to cause you this this harmony in your life and this uh, this um, uh, just tri- you just you just feel triggered and you feel all these emotions coming right. back again. So it's about allowing that part of you to come through and to literally speak yes, to it. Right, so right. she has this process where you li- where you can literally have this conversation with yourself and with mm-hmm. your other self, which is, you mm-hmm. know, say really angry or mm-hmm. really shame, uh, like um, feels a lot of shame, but wasn't mm-hmm. able to express it when you were a child. So mm-hmm. now you have to bring these parts up and communicate with them and ask them what they want because they need to be acknowledged. So, it's so that, that's, just- that would be the same, like... Um- Hmm. really interesting like, like being able uh, you know what that reminds me of is the same um <clears throat> counselors thing that i was mentioning where you actually could use your um i, I need to find a different word for for the imagination because yeah. it, it, you know it kind of like like discards like yeah but I, I see what you mean though i see exactly what you mean um in that and actually addressing certain aspects Mm. Uh, within our consciousness that we may not be privy to or aware of yeah. um, existence like the, the you know the shadow self basically yeah um yeah and bringing it to the forefront allowing it to actually um be acknowledged mm. right and this this is a very powerful time to actually bring our shadow selves up to the surface because it, it's happening you, you see it happen in the world yeah. right shadow yes. side of the world is being revealed like it's coming to the light and yeah. so it's going to be coming to the light for uh, many within as well yeah so, so yeah yeah totally yeah. so we have to do that inner work otherwise yeah. <laughs> we're not going to be yeah. in a good place but yeah. um oh, amazing jerome thank you so much how can people find you if well have you started doing sessions again or not yet? yeah um yeah i actually started doing sessions again um i, I do yeah it's very I, I do um what i do is i guide i would do a lot of guidance into like basically like the programs within your consciousness mm. that would uh, actually prevent you from kind of like getting past certain blocks and stuff like that yeah um through uh, like a cellular clearing and especially like an emotional clearing yeah. uh, session right wow. i also work on like the chakras and yeah you so like chakra clearing energy, energetic mm, chakra mm-hmm. clearing. yeah right emotional clearing everything like that um <clears throat> actually recently just talking to you here now I, I might actually start doing the the like language activations and stuff as well too yeah i think you should yeah. um <laughs> yeah. but I, I usually add it into my sessions uh, so it comes out if it needs to come out mm. right intuitively yeah. my sessions are mainly very very intuitive um yeah. So yeah, I started doing sessions again. Um, they can reach me at Unified Energetics on Facebook or Instagram. Unified yeah. Energetics. Okay. Yeah. Brilliant. All right, Jay, thank you so much again for uh, sharing your wisdom yeah. <laughs> and all your insights. You always have uh, some incredible insights. And every time we speak, you just, um, yeah, you have some sort of new knowledge that you've downloaded or that you've come across. So it's, yeah. really interesting to find out all the latest from you um and yeah let's catch up again uh in a few months and see how everything's changed hopefully for the better <laughs> yeah, for sure. if we've done our work yeah. uh but yeah otherwise yeah. have a good one and until next time bye <laughs>